YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today is like a weekly reset. Um, I was gonna wait. It is actually Friday. I was gonna wait two more days to clean up, but I was like, mm, can't do it. So right now I'm just sterilizing her bottles, but I'm about to wash some clothes. Okay. And I still haven't even brushed my teeth to wash my face. Like I took a shower last night. If I don't take a shower at nighttime, I don't get a shower in. After I brush my teeth and wash my face, it's two something. I was just like so tired her to, holding her making sure she was asleep she said you know mommy do these take care of my baby before i take care of myself period sacrifice period about to wash some clothes i'm about to take out her bottles because they're sterilizing and i'm about to brush my teeth and wash my face so let's go ahead and put y'all in the laundry room so y'all can see the little montage i gotta pee y'all can see the little montage of me um washing clothes i want to show y'all my little my belly but i'm not really trying to show y'all my skin because my skin is dark and i'm gonna let it's about it so yeah use this tide oxy clean and i spin it so i can get everything Okay, y'all have a few things <clears throat> on my to-do list that I want to do. Um, I'm already washed clothes. I'm already sterilizing her bottles. So, next I'm going to sweep in the front room because it is a little dirty in there from, like, me eating and stuff. And then I'm going to clean off the table that's, like, right beside the couch. So, yeah, let me show you how I sterilize her bottles. Okay, so I just, I don't have a sterilizer. Oh, don't worry, I'm going to wash some dishes too. But I don't have a sterilizer. So I have to use hot water. And I let it sterilize for like maybe 10 minutes. Um, most times because I forget. But the longer the better. Oh yeah, I sterilize. That just looks funny. So I'm just going to move these bottles over here. We cooked some macaroni the other day. And the lid from it is what I use for her bottles because the little bottle rack is too it's not enough for all her bottles and I'm gonna show you how I pre-made her bottles pre-make her bottles I put cold water or either sometimes I'll just get this Because I'm on WIC and they only do Infamil, we're trying to switch her over to Infamil. And the woman at the health department was like, instead of just switching her over, I would do like, if you do three ounces, you get one scoop of Infamil like, and half a scoop of Infamil. So that's what we've been doing. I don't know why I just said it like that. That's what we've been doing. And I just poured a powder in here so I can just pour the water when it's time to put the water in there. And just shake it up and go instead of just putting the water in. Because she be yo, she be yelling for that milk I try to move as fast as possible and I always make sure the bottles are dry now because if they're just a little bit wet it's gonna stick to the side and it's gonna like I'm gonna have to do extra with cleaning it and CJ hates when I do that so I'm gonna do one thing do one bottle first Similac and two bottles I always try to make sure it's full Take this out. This is a slow feeder bottle. I know y'all seen that in my other video, but yeah, this is a slow feeder bottle, and I always try to get this to her. I always try to make sure she uses all three bottles all the time, all day, every day. She might use all three bottles throughout the day, whether it's like two during the day and one during the night, or two during the night, one during the day. It doesn't really matter, honestly. As long as she's getting that slow feeder so she don't choke, because it helps with gas, colic, and spitting up. And she loves to spit up. She drank entirely too fast. Obviously, she don't love spit up. Sarcasm. Sarcasm, people. That is how I have to do her bottles. And I had ordered some more from Amazon, like a six-pack from Dr. Brown's, the brand. And she's barely going to be using these. She's probably going to use these just at nighttime because she do, like, cluster feed more at nighttime. So, like, if I give her four ounces of this and then, like, two hours later, she's hungry, 
I'm gonna give her two ounces of this instead of just using a whole wasting a, like a big bottle for that. I can just use a small one. Or like an hour later, if I give her three ounces, an hour later she's still hungry because she still get hungry after three ounces. And I can just you know give her a, a half an ounce or two ounce of the small bottle, and then I just place this in here at the top. This is so cute because it's pink. And I put it on the table right beside me, but I gotta clean that off. I think I'm gonna do that right now. I've seen a little TikTok saying you can use warm water fabric softener to like kill off dust. But I don't know if I wanna use that. I might just use that just because I don't wanna use any like sprays because she is in the living room since I have to sleep in the living room because of my incision. This is exactly what I'm about to do. Or so I thought. So I'm just gonna have to turn the light on to do this. She always sleeps so peacefully. I'm gonna put you guys right here so you can watch me. All I'm gonna say is don't look at my butt. Thank you. In case anybody wants to get it for their baby or they're pregnant or they want to give somebody a baby shower it has four well four different settings on it i don't go past 104 because i did 122 one time on accident and it was way too hot for her stomach but she took it though but i was just still scared so i do 98.6 or 104 fahrenheit and then you just put the bottle under here and just press this and it just comes out warm already like that's exactly why i put the formula in there and i'm trying not to do too much gripe water but i notice if like after she eats she grunts a lot then i use the gripe water like i just try to test it out because of then i know she's constipated okay y'all i'm about to wash her clothes it is what the next day so i'm about to put y'all right here to set y'all up again Bookied on her clothes, on her what's it called? She booked on her towels, so I have to wash those and then take her a shower. Am I bad? But she's probably gonna go on again. It's a little new situation for me. I don't even know. Okay, so the mission for tonight is wash her bottles, sterilize them, prep her bottles. Um, when her clothes get done washing, you put them in the dryer so I can take her bath tonight. Um, brush my teeth, wash my face because I just got the shower, and restock up her baby, her bassinets with diapers. So Edge is gonna watch me wash. Okay, right now she has a few bottles that's clean. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna just do six bottles for right now because it's 11:15, and then later on I'm gonna do two more bottles after she go to sleep. Y'all seen me prepping bottles before, so I'm not gonna show that again. Camera's about to die. I might. Okay, so real quick, what I do, I mix the infamilin to the similar because I only had a little bit left. So I make sure all the bottles are dry and just put them in there. So then when it comes time to feed her at nighttime, all I have to do is just put the water in there and shake it up. And it don't be clumps of food in there because it's, well, dry. I actually do more than one scoop, but I'm just doing one scoop right now. So I'm going to do her four ounces throughout the night. So I'm going to do two more, one more scoop of each. So I'll see you guys when my camera charges. Okay, I just took my bonnet off because every clip looks like I'm filming it at the same time. And I'm not. It's like different days or different timestamps. But today is... 
Monday the 6th. Um, Naomi turns one month in two days. And I'll be one month postpartum. And two days away from being, I mean two weeks away from being healed. Like the six week mark. And I could go back to work after that. So, nervous. I'm super attached to her. I don't want to leave her. But, I know I'm going to have to. I got a package and I bought her that baby stuff I was telling y'all but they also gave me a little paper in the mail saying so it was some I, it's probably her bottle warmer that they couldn't fit oh. so somebody's gonna have to go to the somebody's gonna have to take me to the post office to get her bottle warmer because that's what I was really 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 excited about because I was gonna try it out if it was gonna do right then I was gonna make like five bottles well more than five bottles at night and just when she get hungry, you heat that bad boy up. You know what I mean? Little unboxing. Yeah, let's go ahead. Not to go fast. Bottle woman in here. Okay, so first off, here's your bottles. Um, where's my phone? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna record both times. Hey, y'all. So, I j why do I look like <laughs> Anyways, Oh, yeah, I braided my hair now. Anyways, I got some more Dr. Brown bottles because I love these figure bottles. Yes, they are the tall ones, and I still might get her some little small ones because she's gonna be like a baby for a little minute. I'm also recording on my YouTube. Well, she might be a little baby for a little minute, so this is what they look like. This is what they look like. I y'all hear how I talk differently to y'all and, and then to my dad and the life of the team up. Hey y'all, next I got her a baby bonnet because my baby has a lot of hair. She came out with a lot of hair and it's about to be a month. And I don't want her head to Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is way too big for her head, but her head gonna fit in it. I didn't want her head to, I mean her hair to fall out because you know how some little babies had a little, they call it a smiley face where like they have hair but then it's, I don't know, anyways, but it's blue and pink. I just thought that was so cute. I gotta get me one like this. And then I especially like it this because she don't like nothing on her head so. And it came in this type of bag. I will put the links down below. So I'm gonna go ahead um, right now and make the links. I'm literally about to try to set out. But I'm gonna try it out with water first. Hey y'all, I'm telling you. I'm about to make like 10 bottles. No, I'm kidding. But I am gonna make a lot. But it is some like ways you can just look on TikTok. Like y'all, I'm telling y'all. That's why I got this. Because if you don't know what you're doing for real, just look on TikTok and it will literally, literally help you. I promise you. Ever since I had my baby, I don't forgot words. I don't want bubble wrap. There we go. Okay. So, here's what it looks like. And I'm literally about to look up again on TikTok how this works. Because I looked it up the first time before I bought it. Don't ask me. I know you put water in the back of here. They got some stuff inside. Oh, oh, it's like the water neck bottles. Then you don't need this, but for the smaller bottles, then to keep it secure, keep it secure. Oh, and then this is also like a sterilizer, so you can use passies and stuff. That's what the woman said on the tip top. If you have a wider bottle, then take this off. But if you have a smaller bottle, put this on. And then if it's like a small bottle, you know the lid I think this is for different types of bottles so like you take the the part where the baby suck like the little nipple part you take it off and put these two on the caps okay and this is some soap to help my eyes, um, skin come back but I'm gonna use this in two more weeks that was a little Amazon haul sorry it was like really chaotic with the Daniel Life of Teen Mom on my snapchat but obviously i don't know that but i have a day in the life of a teen mom on my snapchat so okay so i'm washing some more clothes again and then i got some more of her bottle sterilizing i sterilize a lot throughout the day just like, like twice a day really her bottle warmer works with the 
with the bottle warmer comes with two different lids and the lid that I can use on this I can also use on this bottle I just tried it out so I'm gonna go ahead and pre-make her bottles and put them in the refrigerator mm, I don't know how many I know I don't know how many I'm gonna do because when you pre-make bottles it's supposed to last like 24 hours so it's 846 right now she just ate like maybe what 20 minutes ago so I'm gonna do like five bottles I'm probably gonna do more than five bottles Anywho's, um, I don't know if I want to do these small bottles just yet. Do two of each bottle. That's that's simple. Okay, got the slow feeder and the nipples. So I'm gonna do four ounces for each bottle. Did a little bit of more than four, but honestly, that's fine. And my other bottle warmer, terrible. I love making making bottles. Just, it just a good thing. Let me know I'm prepared. So I'm going to put these four in the refrigerator. But I'm going to do three on this small one. So this for when she like close to feeding. Two and a half ounces and three ounces. 